It's Mental Health Awareness Week. I'm Natasha Welfare and this is a short video about codependency. So what is codependency? Well, a codependent person will organise their whole lives around somebody else. It almost feels a bit like they're allowing themselves to be taken over. You know, they're willingly allowing themselves to be taken over. The other person is often a romantic partner, but it can also be a family member and it can be a friend. And when the person is codependent, they're denying their own wants, their own needs and their own feelings. And their whole sense of self-worth is attached to somebody else. So codependency sounds like it's a relationship issue, but actually the central issue in codependency is the relationship that you have with yourself. And we're going to come on to talk about this a little bit later. Um, you know, one of the things that we can do to heal from codependency is to rediscover ourselves in a way. And as we rediscover ourselves, then our relationships will improve. Um, our relationships will change. So what do you need to look out for, you know, in order to figure out whether this is an issue that you, you know, you might need some support with? Um, if all of your happiness and all of your satisfaction and your sense of purpose in life, um, you know, comes from doing stuff for this one other person, then that's absolutely something to be looking out for. Um, do you have what we call in transactional analysis a please others driver? You know, where, you know, you're sort of spending so much of your energy pleasing this other person and almost saying to yourself, you know, I'm only OK as long as I'm pleasing you. Um, there's a real sense of self-sacrifice here, um, a really unhealthy level of self-sacrifice. Um, do you stay in relationships even when they become harmful? Um, you know, you know deep down inside that they're harmful and, let, and yet you stay. Um, you know, it's something to be really mindful of. Um, do you str str struggle with anxiety in relationship to, to the re this relationship? Um, is the relationship sort of so important to you, um, you know, that actually you're completely anxious about it all of the time? You know, if there's an issue, you know, with, with the other person, then that becomes such a big issue for you. Um, and are you feeling guilty? Guilty about having your own needs having your own thoughts, having your own, you know, opinions, you know, does that feel like it's selfish to you? So how do we work with codependency in therapy? You know, what can we do to kind of form healthier, um, a healthier relationship with ourselves in order that we can then have a healthier relationship with other people? One of the first things that we need to do is we need to sort of agree um, that this is an issue and we need to do this really gently you know this isn't about labeling or pathologizing or the therapist telling you that there's something wrong with you um, you know I have mixed feelings about the term codependency you know as a word I don't think it's particularly helpful but you know we need to contract you know this is good ethical work do we agree that this is an issue is this something that you would you know like to work on in therapy and and next comes the real bulk of the work, if you like. You know, you need to rediscover yourself. You know, who are you? What do you enjoy doing? You know, who are your friends? Um, you know, you need to get back in touch with your feelings. You know, what do you feel separate um, from, from this other person? Um, and often that process will involve getting in touch with your own anger. Um, you know, if there are feelings that have been you know, buried away underneath the carpet, you know, we need to, um, you know, get back in touch, in touch with those as part of the therapeutic process. You know, there's a lot of work that takes place here outside of therapy, you know, and we would probably be working on a plan for, you know, for what you might be doing differently in between the sessions. So we're building up a life um, that is not just centered around this one other person. Um, and then lastly, we can look at um, developing healthier ways of relating. Um, and this is a bit like relearning how to be in relationship. And boundaries is really, really, you know, important here. You know, you're going to be relearning how to set healthier boundaries in relationships. So by way of summary, codependency is... Um, you know, it's not about not being in relationship. Um, it's not about not helping um, and not supporting, but it's about not losing sense of ourself 
Um, so we want to um, be in touch with ourselves um, in order that we can then have a healthy relationship. So I hope some of that was useful um, and do get in touch if you need any further information on codependency.